are in some other realm? Well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner. And the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. Mm. Want to travel with us? Circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Yep, work out for both of us. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. <laughs> of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? Oh, do you know much magic? I was controlling the powers of the universe while your people were still uh, doing whatever it is you used to do. What speciality would you prefer? Conjurer sounds fun. That's... Mm. I'm torn, guys. I'm torn. Sabeel's gonna be... Uh... The rogue. What do we want Losa... And Fane to be? Fane uh, sounds fun if he was a, a conjurer. Maybe we'll make him a conjurer with a necromancy. And then we'll give Losa an inquisitor. That sounds fun. Who are we forgetting about? Fane, Ben Mazd, Losa, Sabeel. That's all of them. All right, Conjurer. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, mm. shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Splendid. Very well. Let's be off. All right, we got another team member. Seventy recipes. All right, let's load up. Didn't I get a wand? We should be loading up all these guys, actually. Uh, four to five. Two-handed. Uh, wand, there it is. Two to three fire. Oh, he's that's what he's wearing. Can he have two? Old game, he used to be able to have two. Yes! Um, gear. Two physical armor. Bam. Two physical armor. And uh, we're not gonna gear him up because we're gonna try to get rid of him. All right, I think that's all I can do. Onwards, friends, mighty companions. Looted that. There's a way up here. There it is. Oh, poisoned myself. That's cool. What? Are you standing in poison still? Come on, bro. No. TV, come on. Everyone needs to get up here. We just leveled up. Hey. Bro. What are you doing? Oh, I got unhooked. There we go. Did I kill the cat? Okay, there's Laura. Don't tell me I killed the cat. I feel terrible. What is that? Is that sniffling? Terrible. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. What 
What's wrong? The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Just grin and tell her she looks like a warrior princess she used to know. Sure, a I'll do that. grin cracks across the child's face through her tears, showing two big gaps where her front teeth should be. That's funny. She laughs. Really? Yeah. Warrior what happened? Princess oh, Carl. I got experience. You're nice. Cool. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it yet. What'd That's she give us? Year, and then I'll learn it. Whoa. The child wipes her eyes and grinning, plunks herself down on the earth and ground. She starts tracing shapes, hearts, stars, and diamonds into the dirt. What'd she give us? Maybe it was that. Thanks. Thanks, kid. Bucket bowl, fishbone. Minor healing potion. Party following. Fireball scroll. All right, we'll talk to. What the? Psst, go, get out! You are not welcome here. Go, man pig. I thought this used to be a lizard here. I thought. Gently raise your hands and say, "You mean no harm." She eyes you suspiciously. Please, please, just go. Why? Can I sell you, you stuff? Me, human. Leave. I'll sell you stuff. You don't have enough money. You also don't have anything I want to buy. Alright. She wants me out, so let's get out. Whisper wood. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, we're not going to go that yet. We need someone with pet pal. before we do this part. I knew I should have picked it up earlier, but it's weird having a human pet pal, in my own opinion. Um, I like having like Sabeel have pet pal. I've heard talk to the animals. All right, are both the cats and stuff following me now? No, they're not. Dang it. All right, we found the entryway in Yarrow Flower. I mean, those are a pain in the ass to find usually. We're going to go up here. Shovel. Take that because we're going to need that. Is that just a witch doctor mask? Or whatever they're called. Remember the name? Plague doctor. That's the word. All right, let's go over here. Observe that rest of the spot. All oh, the shells. Oh, look, the squirrel thing is following us again. I, I might have killed that black cat. Because it's not with me anymore and I feel bad. Are you just dropping shells? She's just dropping shells. That stinking boat, huh? I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them ringing out their tunic at the She's shore just dropping the shells. Say hi for me. Sure. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Thanks. Junk. <laughs> oh, what was that? I saw tongs or something. Tongs. I might need those. I can't reach those bottles because I don't have telekinesis. I don't know why I'm picking up all those shells. They're pretty much worthless. The 
Oh, check it. Oh. I used to not. What? But I know nothing of any of this. We already know the truth. I was able to get in there without triggering this. I am a proud loyal to the order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Too well protected here. Too soft. Please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? But I know nothing of any Verdus. Stay back, There it goes. And stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Oh, boy. This injustice at best and base cruelty at worst. Doubt to whether she's telling truth or lies, you won't find out by mutilating her. This isn't the right moment to make yourself known. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. If they want information, gold would buy more than torture. Would I say that to them or would I not say that? Presume that this lizard treasure has been great or the regime is run by the pettiest of tyrants. I want to do two. Stay silent, you. Bishop Alexander looks up at the sound of your voice, curiosity on his face. Recognition seems to flicker in his eyes for a moment, but then he shakes his head and looks back towards the suffering Atusa. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop. My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Down. Yes, your holiness. Dang it. It's apparently double clicking. I believe we're. What a waste. I don't remember her doing that. We'll be needed elsewhere. Click on the party members to have. Oh, yeah. So you can be like, yo, what do you think of that? The lizard magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. This shit means marking your territory, and we know who the real leader is around here. These magisters are almost vicious enough to join the lone wolves. Better her than me. Marking your territory, no, know who the leader is. So prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Where's the red prince? What are you doing all the way over there, moron? Because he went across the puddle. Uh, that's new. Maybe that's why the cat isn't following us. All right, well, now we got to make him run all the way over here. Dang it. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, stop. You see how fast those guys were zipping around? That was funny. All right. Nice little exploded blood puddle here. Ew, it can take her leg. Right, let's go with this.
Brother Byer. Can I get up there? Anybody? Greetings, child. I find myself in your so-called divine lands, yet I feel his absence deep in my heart all the same. These are no more your, your lands than his. And thank him not to call you a child. Is this being rude? I can't tell if this is being rude. <laughs> you may feel like an inmate here, but you and your captors are the same stuff in race and customs, if not heart. You'll see what a difference that can make. That might have been rude. Alright. Save up. Because these punks like to start a fight. Looky, looky here, mates. There it is. Fresh Crap. Face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. <laughs> Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Well, that was easy. Old. Looks like you'll have to pay your interment fee after all, Freshie. Is that how this works? Give him what he asked for. Come on, my lane. Tell him not to. D tell him not to dice. You've seen this trick before. Yep, I've seen this That's trick before. A bit of fun, Sharpie. I'm sure the Red Soldier. No one gets along without paying the interment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Tell him going to walk away. Not going to stop you. Chuckle and say you're not known for paying your way. Asking for a little leniency for a group man to man. Spit and say he'll have to loot their internment fee from your corpse. You're not known for paying your well, way. You've heard of it now, ain't ya? Go on, Lynn Freshy. Turn him out. The brute he asks, has to say you won't hand over what's right the field of yours. Swear you have nothing of value in your person. If he's really wanting to try to shake down one of the lone wolves. Yep. You trying to shake down one of the wolves? If you lot are as fearsome as they say, how'd you let a troop of goons like the Reds get their hands on you? Oh, trying to pop looks you the back. You know what? I'm in a good mood. Take a Haha, -ha, it didn't fight me because I'm Ifan. Stand the boot before you. He wouldn't have lasted a night in your pack. Sneer. Oh, you hear that, mates? This cub's got claws. Okay, Let's now he wants to fight. Out, shall we? Although I, I could have got away with not saying that, but. Screw it, this guy's a jerk. Cheating people. It's not fair that you gotta go first. Oh, we need to redo his stuff. Oh, that requires source points, so that goes over here. Here. I need to pay attention to where I'm actually dropping these things. Uh, shield up. Oh, I could fireball them. How much does that cost? One. I could fireball them. Bouncing shield, that's new. Does it bounce automatically or does it have to be within their range? Kind of want to blow fire at them, but it might hurt my friends. That sounds fun. Can I get them all? Got them all. Oh, I still have one left. Fortify. Uh. Ifin. It was worthless, actually. He, he was full. I forget. It can't go over their armor. No! Immune to bleeding. Haha! -ha. Uh, this is me now. Can I hit them both? Knocked down, blocked by physical armor. Oh, right. That can happen. This is non-allies, right? Non-allies. All right. Bam. Got him. That guy got cooked. 